Hello, welcome to ClearPath MCP software technical update. This is for release 18.0. On the agenda here, I'll be giving product overview and the features implemented in this release. Let's start with the product overview. Web Enabler is a Java based cross platform web enabling terminal emulator application. It enables user to run MCP based applications from workstation. Web Enabler operates in two modes applet based application based let's talk about the first enhancement new appearance attributes added the appearance tab of properties dialog allows user to assign color combinations for various screen text attributes such as blink and underline previously Web Enabler allowed a user to change only the text color for an available display attribute. However, background color could not be changed. Similarly, there was no provision to update the color scheme of application's information bar. Now, the display text attributes list is updated with four new attributes. Let's see the details of four newly added attributes. Protected field. Protected field is not intended to be edited by user. This field starts with FS character. Status line. MCP terminal status line displays status messages from MCP server. The status messages depend on the MCP application and its appearance varies from one application to another. Underline. Web Enabler draws an underline if the line starts with SI character. For example, on mark screen, choices for action field are underlined. Info line. Application windows information line. It identifies the row, column, page, terminal state and various modes. Two radio buttons have been added in the appearance tab to specify background and foreground color for each text display attributes independently. Web enabler will prompt end user when the user selects restore option or closes properties dialog. This is a sample screenshot of Mark home screen. Here we have set few color combinations for different display attributes. This is how the appearance tab will look like. As shown in the sample panel, user can select the new attributes and apply different color schemes. Let's talk about the second enhancement, single sign-on using Kerberos. Web Enabler has been enhanced to provide single sign-on feature through Kerberos-based authentication. Using single sign-on, a Web Enabler user can directly log in to a Kerberized server without having to provide credentials like user code and password. When a user connects to a MCP host configured for Kerberos, the Kerberos authentication is performed between Web Enabler and Transaction Server at MCP. If Kerberos authentication is successful, Web Enabler will display home or default screen of connected Transaction Server application. If Kerberos authentication fails, Web Enabler will display the mark logon screen to have single sign on user needs to select use single sign on checkbox by default this option is not selected 
Along with this option, user needs to provide values for KDC, Realm, and Service Principal Name fields. KDC or Kerberos Domain Controller holds all the secret keys for all the principles in a realm. Realm Realm is grouping of principles that represents a domain. Service Principal Name a service principal name is an entity that can prove its own identity and verify the identity of other principals. Each user, service and server registered with Kerberos is a principal. For a successful single sign-on, user needs to ensure that the target MCP host is configured with Kerberos. Workstation current logged in username should be in the Kerberized domain or the client's domain must be present in the Kerberos configuration of the MCP host. On Windows Workstation, allow TGT session key must be set in registry to allow web enabler to retrieve service ticket from the underlying Windows operating system. If an administrator account is being used, Web Enabler should be set to run as administrator to achieve a successful single sign-on. For more information on the prerequisites, please refer Web Enabler help. For more information on Kerberos configuration, refer to Kerberos Security Configuration and Administration Guide and Security Software Developers Kit. Let's talk about the third enhancement, Configuration Option for Web Enabler Applet. Previously, Web Enabler Applet accepted the parameters specified using param tag as well as the one specified in the config file but the former was being overridden by the latter. With this enhancement, a new option has been added in the Web Enabler wizard. Using this new option, administrator can now select source for applications configurable parameters to be applied in the applet. A new drop-down menu configuration options has been added in Web Enabler Wizard Page Properties tab. One among the following options can be selected. Load from param tag only. Options will be loaded from the param tag. Only options available from Web Enabler Wizard will be applied. Load from configuration file only. Options will be loaded from configuration file. Only parameter values specified in the config file from the local disk will be applied. Load from both param tag and configuration file. Options will be loaded from both the param tag and configuration file with precedence given to param tag parameter values. The screen shows the page parameters tab where these new options have been added in Web Enabler. Thank you.